and I run Baidu's AI team, it's about 1,300 people. So I think that for large enterprises like Baidu and possibly yours too, um, AI creates two big buckets of opportunities. One is um, our core business, web search, advertising, all that is AI powered today. Um, uh, and, and the number of AI powered things goes down very far in our core business. So for example, the way we recommend restaurants to you, or the way we run our logistics network, we run a very large uh, food delivery service, maybe like DoorDash. And when you order food, we use AI to predict how long the food will take to get to you. Turns out you really, you, you all just finished dinner, so maybe you don't care now, but when you're hungry, you actually really care. <laughs> Um, to deciding which motorcyclist to dispatch to pick up the food so they arrive just as the food is cooked and fresh so they can get it to your door while it's as hot as possible. All that is AI powered. In addition to strengthening our core business, uh, where we've said AI is incredibly lucrative, um, AI also creates a lot of new business opportunities. So I've been making this analogy that AI is the new electricity. Um, just as about 100 years ago, the electrification of our country uh, change every single major industry, agriculture, manufacturing, retail, uh, communications. I think now we're in a phase where AI will similarly, similar to electricity 100 years ago, AI will change pretty much every major industry. And so part of my work at Baidu is to systematically explore new verticals. So we're uh, bullish on healthcare, we have uh, built up an autonomous driving business unit, we have a uh, conversational computer. You know, similar, uh, some similarities to uh, Amazon, Alexa, and Google Home, but we think in some ways even more advanced. Um, and we're systematically pursuing new industries, new verticals, where we think we can build an AI team to create and capture a lot of value.